hermosa! Beautiful people, today we are in Mexico City and this is my cousin Elias. How are you guys? Today he's gonna make us a food tour in Mexico City. For breakfast we're gonna go to El Cardenal, that is a really traditional restaurant. And after that we're gonna try a really good restaurant that it comes with tacos from Baja California and Sonora that is called El Pescadito. So, and then after that, we're gonna try a place that is called Los Molcajetes, that is really nice. Oh my God, there is so much food to discover. With your brother, we had really a lot of fun. And today with you, Elias, I'm sure it is gonna be incredible. Ay caramba, stay tuned. Hi everyone, how are you? I'm Elias, a ver. Mark's cousin, really happy to see you guys. We're here at the, at the Cardenal restaurant. I can feel that this restaurant, how I'm gonna say it, it well, is more for business, right? Well, I am a lawyer, so this is this is the kind of place here in Mexico with all businessmen, lawyers and politics come here. But the place is really good for having a really nice breakfast, a Mexican breakfast. And the environment is always nice, you know, to come here, it's a lot of sun in the place. And where are we located exactly? We're located in the west part of Mexico City in Palmas, uh, near Polanco. It's uh, about like, like the modern part of Mexico City. Hola Marcos, ¿cómo estás? Buen día. Vamos a recomendarte ahorita unos huevos a la cazuela. Tenemos unas enchiladas de temporada de Cuitlacoche, la pañas en salsa verde, un platillo muy mexicano, tradicional, y te va a agradar. Te lo recomiendo ahorita por, por ser temporada de Cuitlacoche. Bienvenidos Marcos, provecho. At first, we are going to try the... What is the it concha. The concha. It is a sweet bread that is very traditional from Mexico, or that is called concha con nata. Nata is like a milk that is uh, kind of fermented. Salud. Salud. <laughs> mm. It's very similar to brioche, by the way. It is beautifully done. It's very fluffy and very spongy. This is a salty bread that is called bolillo. That right. is really good. That, it, that here, this place from a cardenal, I think is the best that, that there is in the city. Beautiful people, you have to hear that. Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna say similar to baguette, it's a bit different, right? Yeah. It's really good with butter, with the coffee. As always, it is a great way to start your breakfast. So first, let's go ahead with the enchiladas. Good, huh? Boom, boom, shakalaka. You know, I usually love salsa verde. And what I love about this salsa verde, it's not really spicy. It is not. With the cream, with the pressed cheese, and the huitlacoche, which is known the truffle for the Mexicans, right? Yeah, it is. When we talk about enchilada, enchilada is basically eaten in breakfast or it depends? No, it depends. You can eat it with in breakfast, lunch, or even at dinner. Because oh, it yeah. comes with a lot of stuff. You can have it with chicken, you can have it with mushrooms, you can have it with meat. So it comes in the, with green salsa, red salsa, uh, and another kind of salsa that is called molcajeteada, the morita, so you can have it in, a, in lots of ways. <laughs> and by the way, the waiter was serving us hot chocolate. What is it exactly? Uh, it, is, it is a special kind of chocolate that is made here in Mexico that goes with breakfast. And you have it with the bread that I told you, the sweet bread. Uh, and it is almost uh, served only with breakfast. But this is a special chocolate made from Mexico. How is it? Do you like the taste? It's very foamy. It's very nice. Actually sweet. Special texture to it, right? And it's kind of different to other chocolate. Yeah, it's, never, it's, not, it's not something that I had before. Now we're gonna try the huevos. Huevos and cazuela with salsa roja. You can have it with both. As you can see, it's not that spicy too. It's true. With you know, I'm not really used to eat stuff like that. This is the first time, honestly. Yeah. You know, for me, usually like scrambled eggs, eggs benedicts. And this is the first time I try a dish like that with the tomato sauce, lightly spicy. It's really good and the eggs are beautifully done. And by the way, what is this cheese on the top as well with the... That is, that is queso fresco too, it's called queso panela. Or right. it's a fresh cheese. And you can, you, you can put some beans, some, some uh, syrup beans that are called like this. But they right. go with the, with the eggs, you put them like this and you have them both together. You cannot miss tortilla, tortilla is really important here. Anyways, beautiful people, we still have a lot of things to discover today. I hope that you enjoyed the breakfast. <laughs> we'll see you at the next adventure. So beautiful people, Elias is making a food <laughs> tour with me and helping me to discover more in Mexico City. Now we are at... El Pescadito Taco. So apparently the restaurant basically sells fish taco, right? Fish tacos, yeah, that's right. They come like from the north part of Mexico in a place called Sonora in Baja California. All right. So 
they're made of shrimp, a bit of pepper, Mexican pepper, chile, and with onion and a bit of lemon. That they are really good. Oh, oh my, my goodness, goodness. those are, are sexy, sexy tacos. tacos. I never saw taco, fish taco, is that big. Anyways, let's go ahead and discuss about each one of them, and of course, we're gonna try them and share our experience with you. So. The first one is, this one is marlin fish, some shrimp, All right. onion, a bit of, uh, of red onion and, and white onion with some lemon and pepper. And what about that one? That one looks very interesting. This one is marlin fish, the mayonnaise. I feel like a lot of people really love the yeah. mayonnaise. Yeah, yeah, here in Mexico it's a thing. We always have, we have, we have tacos, we have tortas, we have a lot of plates and dishes that go comes with mayonnaise. So it's a thing that Mexicans mostly like too. Uh, rather than in other places here in North America, but the, here in, in Mexico is really special, and mostly all of the plates are are done with with mayonnaise, and they like it a lot. All right. What about the third one? The third one, it's uh, two shrimp with uh, with the stuffed chili with uh, with a bit of cheese, and uh, with the same toppings with a bit of bit of onion and some peppers. You have coleslaw as well on the top. Yeah, coleslaw. Yeah, that's right. All right, so I'm not sure how we're gonna eat those tacos because they are literally massive, right? Yeah, they are. So basically, we're gonna dig in. We are gonna make our hands dirty, right? Yeah, about, so about a lot. it's very similar like eating a burger. Yeah, just try Anyways. to grab them from the side and really get all the stuff in it. Mm. Ay, Ay caramba! caramba! Oh my God! <laughs> The flavor is really good yeah. and um, everything is fresh inside this uh, taco. Anyways, I'm not going to be able to eat all the taco because honestly, we're still going to try a lot of day. things in Mexico City. Anyways, I'm really curious to see the flavor of the smoked marlin. Yeah. How is it? Liked it? Oh my God. Really good, no? Taste it. It's really good. It's really, really good. I'm really enjoying it. Mm. And anyways, as well, I want to try the, the relleno with cheese. Yeah, it's really good, that one, too. There's the cheddar relleno. Is this a typical um, Baja style taco? Yeah, this is, is it come from the north part of Mexico, from the state of Sonora. All right. And the state of Baja California, too. Do they have a twist with them, or this is basically how they are served? This is basically how they are served with these toppings, and there's a variety because they, they can have lobster too with the tacos from Baja California. Salud! Salud, Salud everyone! Anyways, Elias, I realized that a lot of people really like uh, drinking soft drinks. Here, here is, a, the, I think it's one of the, one of the countries that most, mostly drink a lot of sodas in the world because uh, here is a big company that has a Coca-Cola firm and, and people in Mexico love soda. So in every taqueria, in every place, you'll, you'll find all, all kind of flavors of soda that they are especially made in Mexico and they're also selling around the world. But there is a special thing going on with the sodas because here in Mexico, we, we consume it a lot. If you pass by to Mexico City, you have to try those tacos. Hey Marco, now we're gonna have a beer with chamoy and some shrimps with powdered chili. It's really good. Tell me, what's the chamoy? The chamoy is like a sauce made out of chili and a little bit of sweet, powdered on it too. So it tastes, it has like a sour taste to it, but it's really nice with beer. Hola Marco, my name is Mauricio. I'm a waiter here and today you're gonna take the most popular molcajete in the Molkis, and the name is uh, Mari Tierra. The, this molcajete is prepared with uh, charro beans, grilled cactus, spring onions, uh, grilled shrimp, arrachera, cheese, and a crackling cheese on the top with handmade tortillas. It's excellent, and I have to say, Enjoy your meal, sir. Thank you. Akarai! Oh my goodness, this dish looks gorgeous. It's yeah, massive. It is definitely made for two people. Elias, what is this huge, flat type of, I'm not sure, what is it? Well, this is called the chicharrón de queso. It is not made out of pork or anything. It's just cheese, put it on, put it on a plate like that. 
like fry it a little, for a little bit and it just turns like this like on a roll but it tastes really nice it's manchego cheese you add it with the taco of macajete uh, a bit of crispy just, cheese it's just a crispy <laughs> thing going on to the taco that you really enjoy you have a lot of shrimps you have the beef skirt in it you have the cheese the sauce yeah you can have it with tortilla or just all by itself it comes to mexican <laughs> food tortilla is a must it's a thing anyways uh let's go ahead and try it Oh my god. So anyways, it's very rich. Mm -hmm. You have the prawns, you have the skirt beef inside, you have the chicken, the salsa, which is a bit spicy, the melted cheese, oh my goodness. The dish is honestly beautiful. And it's really interesting. By the way, the molcajete is basically used to make most of the salsas in Mexico, right? Yeah, it is. And, and here they are using it to make this molcajete dish. First of all, what's really nice about the molcajete, it gives you a certain uh, a very unique flavor while cooking in the Montajete, right? Yeah, it is. Hola, beautiful people! Let's finalize the vlog today by having a Mexican dessert. So, beautiful people, I am ending this vlog at Maque restaurant next to Monte Lebano Street. First of all, I'm really enjoying the neighborhood. We have a lot of uh, boutique restaurants nearby and we are gonna try a few Mexican desserts. The first one that we are gonna try is called Concha. So basically, Concha means uh, shell in Spanish. So let's go ahead and try it. Oh my God. It's really good. It is a sort of a very light cake and I am really enjoying it. As well, we have a cake called Pain Elote. It looks like a muffin in a certain way. And Elote basically means corn. And as you know, corn is essential in Mexican cuisine. Anyways, let's go ahead. It's beautifully done. It's very soft. Yes, with the coffee, you know, a bit of sweetness with the coffee, a bit of bitterness. Yeah, you would definitely enjoy it. Beautiful people, thank you very much for watching this vlog. As usual, we still have a lot to discover in Mexico City. It is an incredible city that you should explore. Anyways, we'll see you very soon with a new vlog, new recipe, everything really depends. Hasta luego, gente. See you soon.